Ah, Millennial Mafia. How the hell are you? How have you been? If you're listening to this at the time that it comes out, you may have been a little bit surprised to see a new episode pop up as it's been a pretty irregular occurrence in 2020 for this show. And for that, I think I owe you an explanation. And that story goes back to nearly a year ago in December of 2019. You see, my beautiful wife, Callie, was in her third trimester, about eight months pregnant, and we were looking for a house. At the time, we had moved in with my in-laws since we knew we were buying uh, our first home, and we didn't want to renew rent on our apartment. Well, the buying process took a little longer than anticipated, and we were very much in crunch time to get into our new home before the baby came with her due date at the end of uh, January 2020. Well, we ended up finding a house and getting the keys in mid-December. So I was spending about 12 to 14 hour days at the house renovating it for about three weeks, which greatly impacted my ability to record interviews and post new episodes. But alas, I was working off really primal paternal energy to fulfill one of the basic needs, shelter for my wife and soon-to-be-born first child. And I also knew it'd be temporary, a brief hustle just to get settled. Well, thank God I did hustle because with most of the major renovations and projects done, a bed, a bassinet, and a dresser for the baby being the only pieces of furniture in the house, on January 4th of the unforgettable year that 2020 has become, our little girl Stella got a little impatient and decided to make an early entrance into our lives. Well, at about two o'clock in the morning, we headed off to the hospital in complete denial of the, in retrospect, obvious fact that my wife was in labor. And five hours, I guess, less than five hours, there was uh, very little sleep involved, a very aggressive Russian midwife, which is a story for another time. Uh, But my champion of a wife delivered our little girl, and I met for the first time the five-pound, 12-ounce tiny human that would shake my world and reshape my perspective on life. Two days later, we checked out of the hospital, took our girl home, and spent the first night in our new house. That's right, the first night home from the hospital with our first child was also the first night in our new home. (laughs) So we really really did take it down to the wire with that one. Uh, You know, we were devoid of almost any furniture and sleep for the next few few weeks, but honestly, so filled with love. So why am I telling you this? Well, it's because it it directly impacts a few things that I want to share with you. First, I made the very conscious decision at the beginning of 2020 to spend as much time being a good husband and a present dad and enjoying that experience of becoming a dad. So with that, I had to make a difficult decision. And that was to spend less time on the Millennial Mastermind and within this podcast particularly. But from that decision came an unexpected discovery you see in those first few months of fatherhood, you know, is basic survival mode. I mean, thank God for my wife being an awesome mom and really being the one to keep the baby alive. But I was also committed to doing my part. It involved a lot of diaper changes, a lot of time up in the middle of the night, and a whole host of uh, other newfound responsibilities that I didn't even know existed several weeks and months earlier. But as time went on, we settled into our new normal as a family and long behold, another curveball was thrown at us and, and at the whole world, and that is COVID-19. Now, we were very, very fortunate that both my wife and I were able to pivot and work from home. So 2020, being a, the crazy year that it has been, had a really significant silver lining for me personally, and that's that I had a chance to spend so much time together with the baby that never would have been possible otherwise. I mean, besides stay-at-home dads, I honestly can't imagine many working dads get to spend as much time as I've been able to with my kid in in the first year of their lives. So uh, that's definitely been a challenge. There's no doubt about it that this year has brought uh, challenges and difficulties, but we absolutely have made those sacrifices. But I 
I count my blessings because I know that I'll look back on 2020 with a heart full of gratitude for this time as a family. But I mentioned an unexpected discovery. Well, this time focused on my family gave me some space to also think about how I'm using any morsel of free time that isn't dedicated to my job or to the family. You know, now more than ever, I had to be super intentional about how I spend my time. And so specifically within my role as a podcaster, which is, you know, honestly, as you can imagine, a huge time commitment to put up consistent content and an episode every week. I had to really, really take a hard look at that. So after months of contemplation, soul searching, not sleeping, but being surrounded by absolute love, I realized that I needed to pivot, but I wasn't ready to walk away from podcasting. And what came, what it came down to is that my mission is to help people reach their full potential, and that hasn't changed. But my focus on what that means it has changed. Before it was all about professional ambition and success, and that still is a major factor with me and for me. But now there's this added layer of achievement without sacrificing the most important relationships in your life. And specific for me, that's with my wife and my daughter within my role as a dad. So so what does that mean? Well, that pivot has manifested itself as a new podcast. Today, I launched the World Class Dads podcast, where I'll be interviewing some of the world's top performers who are also fathers to learn how they integrate being amazing dads with their pursuit of world-class achievement. So as I enter this new chapter, first I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for listening to this show. Thank you for helping create an amazing community of positivity and mutual growth. And thank you for supporting me and helping me find my voice here on the Millennial Mastermind Podcast over the last four years. I learned so much that I'm carrying over into this new journey that would not have been possible if it wasn't for you being here week in and week out or whenever you may have joined in the journey. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't I couldn't be where I'm at today without you. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to express that gratitude. And this isn't saying goodbye. This is just a see you later and see you elsewhere. So please feel free to connect with me on Instagram, follow me there or connect on LinkedIn. I'd love to continue the conversation and and build the relationship with you. Um, and, And it means a lot that you've been here with me during this journey. And if I have happened to built up any goodwill with you over the last four years, I do have one final ask of you. Please check out the World Class Dads podcast uh, on Apple Podcasts or wherever you turn it, tune in for, for your podcast listening. And if you happen to like it, consider dropping a quick rating or review. Even if you're not a dad, if I've been able to provide value to you here on this show, know that I'm bringing that same passion and curiosity to this new endeavor. And every single rating goes a tremendous distance to help get the show off on the right foot, especially being a new show. Uh, the the algorithms put a lot of emphasis on how many ratings and reviews you're able to get in those first couple of days and weeks. Um, and just to be sure that I'm not bullshitting you all these times on how long I've said it takes, it actually takes to leave a rating review, I just timed myself and I opened the Apple Podcast app, searched World Class Dads and clicked the five-star review. Well, I didn't actually click it, but if I were to, uh, I hit the stopwatch and that took 16 seconds. I'm not kidding you, 16 seconds. So I think I've been preaching 30 seconds, so I may have uh, overshot the mark. Maybe if you leave a comment and a, and a review, but uh, I would really appreciate it. That 16 seconds would be the best best early Christmas gift you could possibly give to me. And I'd be so grateful with that. Um, But with that, I'll just leave you with one final parting piece of advice. And you've heard me say it before, but as I'm getting started with my new adventure, I think it's timely to repeat. If you are considering starting something of your own, you know, whatever it may be, a business, a podcast, some sort of project, a family, a relationship, 
my advice to you is just do it. The timing is never going to be perfect. Trust me. I've got a 10 month old at home at home here and the timing is definitely not perfect, but I knew in my heart that this is something I had to chase. And with us going into a winter that is likely involved with involving quarantines and limited social activities, that at least knocks out some of your excuses. So look for the silver lining there. So I, if you do need to hear this message right now, and, and I'm sure some of you do, just know that I believe in you. You can do this. Now just go do it. Much love, friends, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.